All right, everybody, Scott Pierce here at Listings to Leads. Welcome to the webinar during these trying times. So uh, we are on the call and you're gonna see this information when you log into your account. Um, but uh, we're doing these webinars every day pretty much um, because we're all stuck inside. Social media traffic is absolutely going nuts right now, but budgets aren't. So how can we take advantage of the increased traffic in social media? How can we take advantage of the that we got more time stuck inside? And what can we do with our budgets to make sure that we're not going to fall off the face of the earth and have to completely restart everything once uh, situations get back to normal? All right, so we're rolling through these uh, webinars. We are showing what works now. We're giving you some ideas of what things that you can be doing to uh, stay relevant, stay engaged, but stay within budget. You see the previous recordings of these webinars, and we plan to just repeat these webinars, all right? So you will see new, new opportunities to get on these live calls coming up. If you're already registered on this webinar, you will receive the invites for the new ones automatically. So if you didn't get a chance to see the webinar from yesterday, for example, like any of these other ones, just click where it says view recording. It's gonna open up a new tab and it's gonna put you on the playlist for all the other videos in this series. You'll see them over here on the right hand side. So that was the first webinar we did, the second webinar, the third webinar, we're keeping them uh, topical. So we try to stay on topic so you can kind of get to the one that you're more, most interested in um, and knock it out of the park. And you'll see that same information here. Here's the pop-up when you log into your account. It's all the same information that is on that blog post. So here are the previous webinars from Friday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the one from yesterday, and today's webinar will be put up as well shortly. So let's get to it. This is an ad. This ad ran from March 28, March 18th to March 24th. Now, this is an ad with a regular budget. So this is not what I'm gonna be showing you after this, but I just do wanna show you, if you have the budget and you're comfortable spending the budget, uh, this ad ran for a week while we were in lockdown out here in California and it's got uh, 56 leads at 57 cents per lead. Unfortunately, it's one of those things where if you've got the money, leads are cheap right now, all right? They're super cheap, um, but obviously not everyone has a big budget. So we're gonna walk through some a lot cheaper ways, all right? But in this case here, this is from a managed services team. Clients can do this on their own, obviously, uh, but we do have a managed services team available for you. But let's get to it. I wanna, for the next series of ads, I am going to talk about a dollar a day per ad, but ads that are more engaging, more relevant, all right? And some ideas of how to get more engagement from these, all right? So the first one here, video walkthroughs. All right, you can upload from your phone. So you can upload from your iOS, uh, iPhone, Android, if you got professional videos, 3D tours from Matterport, so any kind of stuff like that, you can load directly into Listing to Lead. So if you're doing a walkthrough video on your phone, uh, you can literally, right from your phone, upload that video into Listings to Leads, all right, and attach it. So here's an ad. Notice I'm promoting a video walkthrough, all right? I'm doing that at the top, the image, right? Virtual open house. If somebody sends a text, they'll get the mobile responsive uh, virtual tour uh, or video walkthrough sent to their phone and you'll get the phone number. But in this case here, I'm going to click the link or click the ad and here's my video walkthrough. All right. And again, this could have been me using my phone walking through the house uploaded into listings to leads directly. This could be a professional uh, video, could have been a 3D tour, whatever, but we got the lead capture right in front of it all right so we got a beautiful full screen video right and we got all the great tools below it and especially right now you're gonna see a lot more homeowners looking at stuff online as well they got the time well we automatically embed right seller lead capture two different times in this uh virtual tour and the single property websites 
the first time is a small little one right there. And then they continue looking at all the photos, right? All the great information related to the listing. Hopefully you got your reviews coming in here as well. And I'm gonna talk about client reviews as well. And then as I continue to scroll down, I see the bottom version of this. And then of course we got the lead links on the right hand side, right? But the idea here is, and you don't have to have a video, it could have just been professional photos, right? And we don't even refer to videos, but if you got the videos, get them into listings to leads and really show them off, all right? Talk about them, put them in the text of the ad, put them in the social media uh, image, right? And I can we can show you that a little bit later in this call. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna show you all these ads and then we're gonna walk through and I'm gonna show you how to either boost it for a dollar a day or how to go into the ads manager. And in the ads manager, I'm gonna show you some stuff that is for this time only, all right? There are some tricks in the ads manager that you can do to really make sure that we are showing our ads to the best people possible, all right? So we're gonna do that after I show you these ads, but let's just walk through the ads first. All right, second one. So for seller leads, there's three different ads here I'm gonna show you. Pick one of them to do, and again, at a dollar a day minimum, all right? So you can do these all for a dollar a day. This is just a standard, this auto posted from listings to leads. So this auto posted up to my Facebook page. Even after a something auto posts up to Facebook, you can always come in here and click edit post. And this is nice to do because we may not know, right? The system may not know that you sold it above asking with multiple offers. So I can always come in here and add some engaging text to capture more leads. Right now, obviously I wouldn't normally do that, but just to give you the example. And that Facebook refresh. So this is one type of ad. So if you've had any listing that is sold, all right, whether you're the listing agent or the selling agent in the last 60 days, get that into listings to leads, let us auto post it for you. And then again, you can either boost it or do an ad for a dollar a day. And again, I'll be showing all that stuff off after I show you these ad types. Here's another one that I think anyone can do this, all right? So anytime there's a listing in your farm area that sells, right, go get, go take a photo of the property. And this is one example of a photo of the property. This is a little bit harder to see, but you see the image behind this landing page, right, the landing page image, how it's a series of homes here. Well, maybe you don't wanna focus on one home in this ad type, but you could show right back down the street of some homes and still do like this, right? 1938 Maplewood Drive and Granite Bay just sold. This is not my listing, but I'm just letting my, my uh, followers know that this home sold. And what is it doing? It's going to a landing page to go after seller leads, all right? So that's just creating a property valuation landing page in listings to leads and then getting it up on Facebook, all right? But the idea is use a recently sold listing. And again, I can boost or run an ad for a dollar a day, all right? These are the standard, uh, what is your home worth seller lead ads? That again, auto post up to Facebook. I don't have to boost it at all. I can just let it sit there for free. Or again, I can come in here and boost it or run an ad at a dollar a day. But none of these things cost any money. They are all free to put up on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, all right? And I would suggest at a minimum of picking two or three ads and at least put $1 a day behind them, all right? Especially the way I show you, it's gonna get more bang for your buck. And obviously, if you've got more money to put behind it, do it. But again, we all recognize we are watching our budgets like hawks, all right? Down payment assistance. This is also auto posting weekly to my Facebook page, all right? Again, I can come in here, I can edit the post if I wanna add anything to it, especially if you can say something like, we have recently helped a family 
qualify for down You get the idea, right? Put in a little emoji there because this is something that's relevant, personal to you, that you help somebody there. And again, this can sit there as a free ad or I can boost it for a dollar a day, all right? Now, we just made a, a kind of a big change with our home value headers, all right? Vince, you're probably hearing this for the first time as well. So if you've got articles, to share, all right? Here's an article. This is this is an article came from a client yesterday. Client wanted to share this article up on Facebook and wanted to know what was the best way to use this kind of article to generate leads. And this is what we call soft lead capture. So notice this URL is to that same article, but it's now on a local info for you.com URL that's from listings to leads. And when I click it, it's gonna go to that article Vince, we took out that splash page that opens up because what I want is I want people to use this tool and I'll be showing how to use this tool a little bit later in this call, but I just want you to see it now, the ability to share content, right? How to keep your kids entertained, how to keep yourself sane, uh, things like this, right? 12 month mor uh, moratoriums on mortgage payments. I think your market would love to see this. You would love to share it, but I also want to have a little bit of soft lead capture along with it. And notice that button at the top, get my home value. And we got one for down payment assistance, home values, new construction, all right? There's a, there's a number of different ways of using this type of tool from listings to leads to do what we call soft lead capture, all right? So I can now promote this content, but in such a way as to actually have an opportunity to generate whether it's down payment assistance leads or new construction leads or home value leads, all right? Brian, thanks for that. We'll get support on that ASAP. So we've rolled through ads for listings promoting videos, right? Virtual tours, video walkthroughs, professional videos, 3D tours. I'll show you how to get all that into your listings to leads account. We talked about three different types of seller ads, right? For listings that you've recently sold, whether as a listing agent or a selling agent, or for listings like this, where you're not, where you're not involved with it at all. But you just kind of, imagine just you're talking to somebody and you just say, hey, just wanna let you know, 1938 Maplewood Drive just sold, right? So, you know, things are selling. Well, it's that kind of conversation, but up on Facebook, all right? And we can do that, we can leverage that with a landing page and the text so that people get the information. And people are gonna comment as well. So, you know, someone may just comment like, how much did it sell for, right? Notice I didn't put in the, notice I didn't put in the price, what it sold for, all right? Because I want people to contact me. It's like, we don't put the number of bedrooms in a Facebook ad, we want people to click through the ad to find out how many bedrooms there are uh, at the single property website. All right, so I talked about three different types of ads going for seller leads. We talked about down payment assistance ads, all these auto posting from Facebook or from listing to leads into Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. All right, talking about content, right? Take all that different content. And I'll tell you right now, what is the kind of content I'm getting really, well, amuse me, Tell me how does I can spend my time in a way that maybe I hadn't thought about, right? I'm not that interested in here. I, I, don't, I don't need to hear any more horror stories. I don't need to hear any more freak outs, all right? Now I wanna hear uplifting things. Do you, is there a story in your local newspaper about how someone went above and beyond to help somebody else? Or is there a local business maybe that you can promote in your local area that is doing something? Is there a local restaurant that needs that you want people to know that they're doing that they're open doing takeout all right you can use all of that stuff with these down payment assistance or home value headers right to promote that content with soft lead capture along with it now also let's talk about video because our landing pages right the standard landing page that we're all familiar with looks right but did you know 
that you can put video in your landing pages. So if you wanted to do a property valuation landing page, a down payment assistance landing page, where you're actually talking to people, right? This is social distancing. This is me more than six feet away from everybody else, right? So I can still go outside, right? With my spouse, significant other, my 12 year old that is stuck in the house, not doing anything, go outside, run through a little script, having them, this was taken on an iPhone six, like four years ago, right? Maybe five years ago. It looks great. If you got an iPhone six through 11 or any type of Android device, you've got the ability to do this, right? And here I'm talking about the market in this particular area, right? And I could be talking about whatever. Here's another use of video. I think this video came, I can't remember who this video came from, but what a cool little video, all right? That this actually, I think this came from NAR, all right? And NAR updates these every month. So here's a video that I used, right? Very, very cool. A great way to use video on these different landing pages. This is a full screen video behind the landing page. So if you've got an area video, right, you could put where that whole area video is the background of that landing page. But as we're getting more and more used to doing video, right, video walkthroughs, video tours of our properties, this was literally me. It took me probably about 15 takes, right? The first, uh, all the first takes, either I hiccuped, I burped, I stuttered, I lost my train of thought. So it took probably about 20 minutes for a one minute video, all right? And that's just the way it is. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I didn't want to sit there in the first two or three lines and all of a sudden start laughing or start hiccuping or burping or whatever, that makes sense. So, but that looks awesome, right? I'm off center, right? I'm in the neighborhood, right? It was funny, somebody drove by a couple of times. I think they were wondering if I was gonna, if I was mugging somebody or casing the joint as it were. <laughs> so it was kind of funny when I did that. I still remember that person. They drove around, they drove by us like twice looking at us, but hey, we looked professional. I think they uh, they didn't get too worked up about it. So, but it, that was kind of funny when it happened, all right? But you can put these types of videos into listings to leads, all right? So let's do this. Vince, and I was going to, I'm going to walk through how to both boost and how to run an ad for a dollar a day, all right? Anything I should talk about first? Let me see if we got Vince on here. Give it a second. Let me go to Vince. Sorry, man. Uh, I was, uh, no, I, I think, well, one, um, this is great. We've got ads. You're talking about auto posting. I definitely want to know how you can run an ad for a dollar a day because it's the first I've heard of that. So Yeah, so let me show you. Let me do this. I'm going to go open up a new tab. I'm going to go to Facebook. And so what I'm going to do is just from anywhere within Facebook, we are going to go into the ads manager and we're going to run this post right here as an ad for a dollar a day. And I really want you to pay attention because there's a few things I'm gonna do that I would normally not do, but I'm gonna do it now because, hey, if I'm only spending a dollar or two a day on a particular ad, I really need it to punch above its weight class, all right? So just follow through here, go to create, create ad, and I'll do a solo video on just this only. Let me just toggle to my right ads manager. All right, so here we are. All right, we're not gonna create the ad in here. We're not gonna, we're just gonna click a few things. So first off, special ad category, make sure it says housing. Oh, and I gotta show you how to do video view ads. So don't let me forget that one. So select traffic and continue. So the first page there, we just made sure we did special ad category housing. We selected traffic and we hit continue, all right? So scroll down to location. And if the wrong location is there, just exit and type in, type in the area. Now it's gonna do the plus 15 miles, 
all right? That's the housing ad, nothing we can do about it. Your age and gender are gonna be set and fixed, not editable, that's housing ads. All, all of us are in the same boat. Now there's a section here called detailed targeting. And I want you to pay attention to my potential reach of 740,000 people. That is such a massive audience and my ad is gonna get absolutely lost. So what we can do, and this is called a variable, is I'm gonna select some websites that people interested in real estate might be showing an interest in. So Zillow. And what we're gonna do is whittle down that audience. Notice that potential reach over here went down to 170,000. So I did realtor.com and I'm gonna do Trulia. Sometimes people do Redfin, right? They can do, you know, try a few other ones. And again, this is called a variable. So try it using these as an interest here. And then maybe next ad, don't use these and just see how they do. All right, again, a variable is something that it works, it's something that you should test against. And depending on where you're at and what you're advertising, sometimes it works better than others, but it can be a really great way uh, to get your ad in front of people that are more likely to click and become a lead, All right? So detailed targeting, interest, realtor.com, truly, and Zillow. Now, this is where it gets totally wacky, all right? This is where it's completely different than anything else that we train normally. Manual placements. Now, Vince, I know you do this, but I'm taking it even further. All devices, select mobile, which takes it away. So desktop, all right? Facebook is gonna spend my dollar or $2 a day, all right? I would rather them spend it on desktop because everyone's at home and I'd rather have, yeah, all everything works on mobile. Everything is mobile responsive. It looks awesome, right? iPhones, Androids. But hey, if I'm only spending a dollar or two a day, I want it on desktop. I, I just want it where it's going to convert the best. In placements, right? Because we did manual placements, take out everything but marketplace and newsfeed. So uncheck right column, uncheck in stream, and leave it so just the newsfeed and marketplace are checked. All right, again, normally I would just let it roll nor like with uh, with more uh, options in here, but I really need my dollar or two to go as far as possible. Scroll down, budget and schedule. Normally we do link clicks, right? We like link clicks and you can try add both of them, but I'm gonna say go to impressions first, just because notice my reach, 729 to 2010, right? Notice my reach here, 352 to 1,000. So by just changing link clicks to impressions, that ad is gonna get in front of twice as many people, all right? Now, for straight up hardcore lead gen, we would want link clicks, because I, I really want people that are gonna click, but in an environment where we need both branding and leads, Let's try impressions, all right? I don't care if you do daily or lifetime in this case. Normally, I put you, I pull you to lifetime, but when we're talking a small, a smaller than normal budget, I'm gonna do, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna do a daily budget, right, at a dollar a day. Now, so make sure to click set a start and end date and run it for however long you wanna run it for. I'm gonna say for, a week or even for four or five days all right so today is march 26th through april 2nd so your ad will run for six days you'll spend no more than six dollars that is total all right so impressions scott yes scott can i interrupt you here so what how did that happen that you can run an ad for a dollar a day because it used to be if you did five or less Less than five, it would just tell you you can't do that. So yeah. is it I don't know. I, yeah. I don't know when that changed. To be honest, I know. Yeah, it used to be like five dollars a day minimum. So yeah. I don't know if they changed it recently because of this or if it was a change they did before that. Um, because before I would have never said to run an ad for a dollar a day. So I have no clue when that happened. 
because normally I would not be doing a dollar a day, but I want to have, you know, and yeah, I'm saying a dollar, maybe I do $2 a day, right? Just, but here's the thing, over the next three to four weeks, I want to have a fixed budget in mind. And so if I'm going to say, you know, I'll spend 150 bucks over the next two weeks, right? Normally I spend 150 a week, but I need to make my money go a little bit further. And so I'm going to bring my ads down to like maybe a dollar or two a day so that I can run, right? An ad for buyer leads, an ad for seller leads, right? An ad for down payment assistance like this one. All right, because, you know, the people are there, right? I want to have that net and I may not be able to put as much money behind that net as, as I normally would, but I still want to have that net out there. All right. So whether it's $1 a day, $2 a day. Now, this is our reach and that's not a lot. All right. But the idea here is, is that we've got multiple ads going. All right, not just one ad for one or two dollars a day, but then we got two or three or four or five ads going for a dollar to two dollars a day. Imagine five ads, two dollars each, that's ten dollars a day. Maybe I can only do three ads at, a, at one dollar a day. All right, whatever it is, right, figure it out. And I'm just giving you the options here. All right, so continue. And the post is already up on Facebook. So I don't need to recreate anything here. Just make sure I'm, I got my community page right there and you're gonna see use existing post and then just select. There's a button right here called select post and I just find whatever it is I wanna uh, promote. Here's the video walkthrough. You can see it right there, video walkthrough. Here's down payment assistance. Here's a 3D walkthrough. Here's the seller ad, right? You get the idea. Here is the, uh, the home value header with the article from Market Watch that I ran through listing to leads to get that home value header uh, uh, tool. So anything on my page, I can promote, right? And then just hit confirm right there. And now I can run these posts on my page out to a very, very targeted audience, right? Granite Bay plus 15 miles, people that shown an interest in Zillow, truly and realtor.com, right? We selected desktop only to show in the newsfeed and Facebook marketplace. We're spending a dollar or two a day, right? For however long we're gonna do it for. Um, and we're good to go, all right? Hey, Scott. Yes. Scott, uh, a question came up that I and, and I wonder if you can answer it kind of quickly, but how do you save an audience in when you're when you're oh, running? Right. Yeah, just do that through support. I I, yeah, I don't have time for that. That's yeah, more, that's what I said too. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I want to. We got a lot to cover here today. So yeah, but no, give us support. Um, I believe we got a support post on that, and they can send that to you. So, uh, but that let's to that question. A great question because. That leads me to the next thing here. See this video, all right? Right now our connection to YouTube is off. I see the YouTube people talking to our people for some ungodly reason they did an audit and once every 10 years apparently, but you can still create these this video, all right? This video is from Listing Sleeve. See that call to action slide, text 1006, or if you need to sell before you buy, it's fixed along the footer. So you can see it in the footer here, and it's going to appear in this slide, and it will appear at the end as well. Let me take it to the end. So there's the branding slide, and then that video is gonna end like this, all right? So the listing videos from uh, listings to leads can be used as a Facebook ad, right and when you're in facebook we got a whole support post for this but let me just kind of do a little bit of it here for you all right let me just show you when you're in facebook and the cool thing about using the video is you can set up your ad and the support post we have for this will show this to you but you can set up 
a video ad so that when people watch three or four seconds or a portion of the video, they're automatically can be added via the pixel to an audience, all right? And then later, you can run ads to that audience or even cheaper than a normal cold audience, all right? Now, to a lot of people, you're probably just like, what? Right, like, whatever, what is he talking about? J just keep in mind, let's try it again. Special ad category housing, video views, hit continue, all right? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna upload the video right into the ads manager all right and so we'll just go through this as normal we got support posts on this so that you know again a little bit too long to uh sit here and try to show in a webinar that we're trying to cover a lot of stuff but i run my ad like i would normally run it and i can set it up so that anyone that's watched just a few seconds of that video are added to another audience that i can then target to for cheaper all right and vince we'll post that uh We'll put that support post in the mastermind group. So any of our clients that are on this call, we'll put the link to that in the mastermind group and you can see how to do it. But let me show you in listings to leads where to get that video, right? From the listings page, right? Just whatever listing, click on task. And it's they're at the bottom of the checklist, all right? And because it's not on YouTube, the preview is not showing here but you'll see a download. If you haven't gener generated the video yet, click generate YouTube video. And even though it's not gonna upload to YouTube right now, I can still download it. And you can see it downloading right here. And then I can use the video as a, uh, as a, as my, uh, in my ad instead of an image, right? Here's that YouTube video. All right, and let me show you again to upload if you get any kind of video edit photos and video videos and 3d tour and if i just don't say to upload our, our our listing videos like this but you totally could right if you don't have a video walkthrough or if you don't have a uh uh you know any kind of video for your property Heck, just use the listing to leads video right there, right? I think I, yep, we uploaded, let me just save it, all right? And now watch, when I go back to the single property website or the virtual tour, there's my video, and I could promote this, I guess, as a video walkthrough, right? I normally personally would not really consider this a video walkthrough, but I do know some of our clients are, And then here's the full screen version. All right. So I guess I could just take the listing video from listings to leads and download it and then upload that to my edit photos and video, video and 3D tour. All right. Does that make sense? Yeah. And we are recording this, Chad. We will make this available. Uh, someone asked on the just listed checklist, the third item. Yes. Social media share image. And you can do this from the first task in the list. But Brian, the great thing about this is, check this out. So let's say my listing auto posted. All right, so I'm on the task list. This is the first task, your social media for any listing. This is the first thing on the uh, checklist. And notice it's on Facebook. Now this published yesterday to Facebook, all right, 19 hours ago. But let's say it's three or four days later, all right? And I want to kind of re-promote this. If I, if I click push post, notice Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn along the top. I'm gonna put for sale video walk All right i'm going to add a little bit to it i'm going to come down here and i don't want to look the same as the one i did three or four days ago 
So I'm gonna promote the kitchen this time. I'm gonna, let's see here. I'm gonna change the banner color. And you now whatever, you get the idea, right? I'm just changing the banner. I changed the text a little bit. I just changed the banner. I changed the image. I'm going to click Save Social Image and Post Now. And it'll take about a minute to post, but now it's going to have a different image, a different banner, different text. And let me go over here and I'll bring up that community page. And then we will see. It may take a minute or two, so I'll come back. If it's not here yet, I'll come back to it in about a minute. But it, when it posts, it's going to look completely different. All right, Brian? And so that way, yeah, we'll come back to it in a minute. But that way, the post will look completely different. It'll look like a different home. It's going to appeal to different people. All right? And what, you, what I would do is, and I was talking about this on the webinar I did uh, at 9 o'clock with some people, is you know, run my ads for like three or four days at a time. And so I may use the YouTube video for one ad, right? A dollar a day, I'm doing video views. The next time I promote that listing, it may just be the image of the front of the house and then for three or four days. And then I do three or four days of the kitchen. Does that make sense? And that way, because part of not disappearing is not running the same ad over and over and over again all right so by just changing the ad image in listings to leads right again from any listing open up the first item in the checklist click push post and again here i am i can change the image to maybe the bedroom maybe the backyard Right, I change the color of the banner. Right, again, now I normally wouldn't do this rapid fire like I'm doing right now, right? If it was the same listing, I would do it right like three or four days later, maybe a week at a time, but you get the idea. Save social image post now. All right, Chad, these are posts to your page. Yeah, these would be, here's what you can do, Chad. Two different things. One, create another page, right, that you can auto post to. And then maybe just share what you want to your page, right? There's, I mean, there's a number of ways to do it because I agree with you, right? Yeah, you don't want to overly, you don't want to uh, pummel your people with, with housing ads, right? So I'm not talking about doing that but you can create another page maybe that it auto posts to and then share back to your main group the ones that you want them to know about. Uh, by default, we do two weeks, right? So when the listing is just listed, right? By default, we will change that to active after two weeks. But you can always come in here and just change it by clicking on the status dropdown. And heck, sometimes people in the first two weeks, they sell it. So they go from just listed to pending and they skip active altogether. All right. Does that answer that question? All right. Anything else? Vince, what else should I cover? Oh. Uh, when we talk about the Legion signature, or if anybody else has any questions, what you want to, uh, what you want me to talk about, what came up in the last webinar, let me just quickly mention CRMs. All right, most CRMs have an email address, right? Like Follow Up Boss, Realty Juggler, Market Leader, Perfect Storm, Five Street, Brevity, KV Core, right? All these CRMs have an email address. And it might look something like Brian at, and then a bunch of goofy stuff, dot followupboss.com, right? In your follow-up boss account, and you just take that follow-up boss email, drop it right here, click save, and then your leads will go into the, your CRM. 
We got API connections with a number of different CRMs as well. And we've also got PySync. So if like KW Command or any of these other like 5 million products right here. We got Real Geeks, Top Producer, Wise Agent, and then Zapier. We have got a lot of pre-built Zaps as well, for those of you that love Zapier. All right, auto posting. The first webinar in this series that we did will cover auto posting. So connecting your social media accounts, setting up your listings. And what's great about how we auto post, I see a lot of these auto postings and they look kind of lame. Right, this is a default auto posting, right? Emojis, great text, great images with call to actions. So not only are we auto posting, but we're auto posting in such a way as to increase engagement and lead capture, right? So from the profile again, under auto posting, setting up your listings, your seller lead ads, down payment assistance, new construction, all right? It's so all that in the beginning. We covered all that in the first webinar. And under the main account profile page, this is really, really popular and I love it, man. I love when people email support and I see them using this tool and it says email. And let me show you in my email. Let me, I'm in my other monitor. So give me a second. I'm in my other monitor. I'm just going to send off one of these emails to myself. So give me a second. Should have done this before. All right, I'm just gonna. Problem is I got all these tabs open. So there we go. I'm gonna hit send. I'm going to refresh. There we go. It's already there. Select, pop it out. So check out this email. All right. Now it looks a little funny because I only have check this out right there. All right. But these links can be controlled by you so that every email you send, right, has these links in it just like this. We've got two versions, one default, one minimal. For Gmail, the minimal one works better, but I can control where these links say, where they go, so that every email I send has the ability to generate leads for, my, for me, all right? And you'll see here, control the text in that line, control the landing page it goes to, right? And customize these links as well. And just to give you a little bit of food for thought, on every page in listings to leads is a light bulb, all right? That light bulb is the support post. And I wanna show you this one because there's some really good ideas of where to use this tool. Check this out, in a WordPress blog, any of you that are blogging, especially now, A, all of our landing pages can be embedded into a blog post, right? Notice this is a blog post about uh, Granite Bay home sales, right? This could be a blog post on down payment assistance. It could be a blog post about things to do while you're stuck at home, right? Whatever, if you're blogging, write two things. One, if there's an appropriate landing page that you can embed, Check this out, I can, this is a blog post and I can fill out the landing page just like I was on the landing page itself. All right, let that trip off, there we go. All right, so that's a listing to leads landing page embedded into a blog post. And then notice underneath it is my blog post signature, All right? And here, Granite Bay, get your Granite Bay home value. So not only do I have lead capture from the embed, I've got lead capture in my signature, right? So that all these blog posts I'm doing actually have some lead capture behind them, all right? You can also use it with your MLS. So a lot of your listing alerts that go out, you can customize the signature. So here's the listing alerts coming from the MLS, and here's that listing to leads, lead gen signature at the bottom. 
right? Because maybe someone, they're looking at the current new listings. Well, they can see other things here as well, all right? So that's awesome. They are all mobile responsive. So even though the signature uh, works great on desktop, it also works fabulous on mobile. And then also in your CRM, right? Your CRM uh, signature. So you can drop it in there as well, right? So if you're using Line Desk or Wise Agent or Boomtown, right? You can customize these signatures and use those there as well. All right, so that lead gen signature is a really cool tool that a lot of our clients like. And again, WordPress, Active Rain, your MLS, uh, your custom pages at your website, people use this. They use this lead gen signature all over the place, all right? Janet, yeah, all these webinars in this series that we're covering, they're all on that pop-up. When you first log into your account, you can just click view recording and you can pause it as needed, right? And follow along, right? But the lead gen signature is another really, really good tool to use as well for free lead generation, all right? So, Vince, once you come back on, let me know what else I should cover. There's a lot of people on this call, so God, good to see everybody. Uh, what, what else do you want me to cover? Hey, Scott, one thing I want to mention is, well, first of all, um, do, you know, we, we talk about, can we still, can people still put landing pages in like the buy sell areas, you know, the other kinds of free uh, groups on Facebook? You know, the best way to do that is, for example, if it's for a listing, have your seller do it, right? Have your seller put it in there. You can do it. Um, I would I would get into the mastermind group and ask there, because I'm a little bit uh, reticent to have it, because you can get kicked out of Facebook right, or out of these groups for spamming them. But get into the mastermind group and just ask other people what they're doing in relation to Where that. Where are you? Oh, you're in Utah. I, I think uh -huh. you're, I think you're having an internet problem. Hey, Vince. Vince. Sorry. I'll All right. Anyways. All right. So, anybody else? Any questions on anything you want me to cover? All right. We can review. The ads, right? Promote your videos, promote your video walkthroughs, promote your 3D tours, professional videos, right? People wanna see that nowadays. So you got your listing ads. This is the ad that, right, ended two days ago, I guess three days ago, but California went on lockdown like the 15th or 16th and uh, we're still in it. So this is an ad that generated 56 leads, 57 cents per lead for a $32 budget over a week period. Absolutely crushed it, right? Here's another similar ad to the one we looked at before, talking about you know promoting those video walkthroughs, right? Again, get those listing, get those videos into listings to leads, right? Send them, send them to support if you need to, talked about some different ideas for seller ads, right? Seller ad where you're the listing agent or selling agent of a listing that just sold in your area. In fact, let me show you how to create this one from scratch. From listings to leads, go to landing pages. And add type, add new landing page. Property Valuation Plus, location, just put in the location name, note, promoting sale of the week, add landing page, all right, so we're gonna go through, we're gonna get, we're, we're gonna put this on Facebook even. So just follow me through. So we just created the landing page, all right? 
I'm going to click Upload Image. And I'm going to find an image that we can use on our stuff. And if anybody sees anything about listing photos, there we go. So I'm just going to use this photo. So this is a photo, whether it's like the one I showed you where we're like facing down the street. So it's not of only the house, right? But this is the house that sold in my neighborhood. I'm not the listing agent. I'm not the selling agent. I got nothing to do with this, all right? But I uploaded the image. I'm gonna click save. I've had too many instances in college of doing work and forgetting to save it and having to recreate entire reports. So I just save everything nowadays all the time. So I'll give that a second to save the image. Might just be my connection on the GoToWebinar, but that will save. And then I'm gonna go to lead form text and I'm gonna change this text up here. Well, let's give it a second here because it might refresh this whole page. So let's give it a second, still winding up there. I'm not sure why this is taking so long, but this Val has a question. When these are captured in L2L and sent to Zapier, where do I find the lead? Um, no, 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 it'll it'll be in listing leads. Yeah, definitely. It'll be in two different places, Val. It'll be in the main leads tab. And if you click on advanced options, Wow, what is this taking so long? Give me a second here. Let me refresh this page and see what's going on. All right, let's try it again. So upload image. Might just be everybody working at home here in my area, call, clogging this up along with the go-to webinar. But regardless, that's how you upload the image. Let me, let me just, because I want to get going on this, because there's a few other things I want to show you. So we upload the image, lead form text, right? I can put something about 678 uh, winding way just sold. All right. So we got the custom image in the background. We got some related text, right? So that when people land on the landing page, they know it's related to something specific in their area. I'm, I'm just gonna leave all else uh, as default, I think. Let me just click save, all right? Now check this out. See there's a post button right here? Just click post and I see, oh, my social media share image. So I can click on that change the image there because the image didn't save from before i can customize this image or i can even upload a com completely custom image altogether and again here i'm gonna say all right let's save that image So I want to customize the image that's going to display up on Facebook when we uh, when it posts to Facebook. We'll let that save. Let me just close it right now. Again, I think with my webinar and everybody working from home, this is going to be like the default text. But because of that, I'm promoting a specific listing. I'm going to put in here six, seven, eight. Is it, I think it's effect. I, I got that click below to find out if your home was worth more than this one, right? Whatever you want your call to action to be. Put in a couple of emojis. I 
I like to put my, everyone's got different emoji styles. I like to put mine at the end, right? And again, keep in mind would have the, as soon as I upload a background image to a landing page, it will display here automatically. Uh, but just with everyone at home and the internet connections being absolutely nuts, I think it's causing some issues there. Oh, hit that again, all right? And then once you got it all set, just click post now. And then that's gonna post up to Facebook, Twitter. Oh, now it saves. Then it'll post up to Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, all right? Now, I can go to Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn to take a look at that post, or I can click on advanced options, all right? And somebody was asking, oh, leads. So all the leads are right here, all right? And I just created this landing page, so there's no leads. But uh, Val, the leads that I generate for this landing page will also be in my main leads tab in listings to leads. But I was gonna show you here for auto posting, as soon as that post, it'll actually display you right here, all right? So after that does auto, does that, bleh, after that does post, that post will display you right there in advanced options under auto posting or I can just go to my page to see that post publish. And let's go ahead and refresh my Granite Bay Homes page. And that last one probably has not posted yet, but the one that we did earlier, where we changed the kitchen, all right, there's that one. And Facebook might be having a problem with the image display here, but There we go. So that just posted just a minute ago. That was from earlier, right? And again, people click the image, they go to the landing page, boom, we're good to go, all right? All right, anything else I can cover for you? And again, as long as you know, right? Like you don't need to memorize, oh my God, what did he do? Because we've got support for all the stuff that you that we've shown you, right? I'm hoping that I just give you some food for thought, right? So now you know what questions to ask, right? Or what kind of uh, trail or path you wanna go down, all right? So the goal of this webinar isn't necessarily to train you on you know, how to do every one of these items that we just covered, because we covered way too much for you to memorize. But I would, now I want you to at least know, oh, I can promote a listing for a dollar a day, and I can include those video walkthroughs that I did, I can promote a listing that's not even mine, right, to my marketplace. I can take content um, articles that I wanna share and I can put that up on Facebook in such a way to have soft lead capture. So as long as you know you can do this stuff, you can ask our support or ask in the mastermind group for the information on how to do it. Does that make sense? Yep, Randy, exactly, food for thought. Because if you don't even know right, the right questions to ask, then you'll never get anywhere, okay? And obviously, no, you know, we could do the webinar on just one of these things, but then everybody else would miss out on all the other things, all right? Awesome. All right, I think we're good to go. I gotta say Vince, one thing. Are you back again? I, I, I'm here, yeah, sorry. I gotta say one thing <laughs> for Randy. Randy's one of our office clients. Uh, Randy. Anna, push post and boost post. Push post is just a listing to leads thing. And you'll see it with all landing pages. You'll see it with all listings. And it's just a way to push that listing or that landing page to Facebook, all right? So again, for listings, you'll see it under the, in the checklist here, under the task icon, your social media, you'll see push post. A boosted post, that's when I actually put money behind it so that it gets promoted to more people than just the people on my page, all right? Randy, you're not an idiot, and next time you know what I'll do, I'll actually kind of preface that in the beginning of the call that uh, I don't want people trying to memorize what I'm showing them because, you know, some webinars, we are showing you how to do every little thing, right? But in this webinar, 
we just want to give you food for thought so you know the right questions to ask you know some of the things that are working right and so that you have a sense of like it's not all complete doom and gloom right i'm taking this time right hanging out with my kids my family right doing more things that i normally don't have time for uh definitely playing a little bit or walking more right getting out and walking and riding my bike more uh but i'm also spending more time learning things like this as well so all right awesome all right everybody listen thank you so much for joining us today uh again when you hey, first Scott. log into your account you're going to see all the information for the previous recordings that we do all right if you don't see it on the pop-up when you first log into your account uh just ask support and they can send you this link as well all right and the web the recording for this webinar will be put on the same pop-up and then the same blog post uh, a little bit later today all right everybody listen thank you so much for joining us thank you for your time and uh just let support know let us know in the mastermind group how we can help you and we'll be there to help you through these times and back into the saddle once we get going again all right thanks everybody talk to you soon